I found these glass jars with the canning lid from Dollar General for a dollar. And I have two of them, and they're really cute. They have these raised designs on them. One says grateful, and the other one is just a pumpkin. I'm going to start by removing the lids and taping the rim of the glass. I'm just using painter's tape. I'm going to be using the Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer. The primer is going to help any paint stick to the glass. It's always important to prime when painting over glass for better results. This will help with coverage and also will help it from the paint just chipping off. The primer comes in a couple different colors. I'm using the color white because I will be spray painting these white. And the primer can be found over at chalkitupfancy.com. Once that fully dried, I then took my Krylon Shortcut spray paint and I spray painted each one. And I did do two coats. You want to do light coats and do as much as you need for coverage. I took this clear glaze top coat once they were all dry and I'm going to spray this onto each jar. I'm going to be using my decor wax. This is the color eternal. You could find a couple different colors of these over on our website at chalkitupfancy.com. I just add a little bit to my finger. You can use gloves if you prefer. And I'm going to lightly rub on top of the raised area. Now, if a little bit gets onto the outer portion, I'm okay with that. I like that look. But for the most part, it does stay to the raised surface. So this is what it looks like on the word grateful. And then I repeated the same exact thing on the pumpkin. You can go as heavy or as light with this as you would like. And again, this is called decor wax in the color eternal. I have these two wood circles. I'm going to paint them in some Wise Owl Fireside. And then on top of it, I just add a little bit of gold. It's very faint, but it just gives it a nice finish. Once those are dry, I'm going to flip them over. I have six of these wood beads. The one side is actually flat, so I glued that down onto the bottom of the piece of wood. I'm using hot glue, and then I'm going to paint over that with the Wise Owl Snow Owl. It was easier for me to adhere the wood pieces to the bottom before painting. And then I'm going to allow that to fully dry. Next, to finish these off, I took one of the jars, the one that said grateful, and I'm just going to wrap some jute around the rim. And you could wrap it around several times. And then I have this little wooden leaf that I'm going to tie the jute around the tiny little stem and then wrap it around again at the top. So the little leaf is kind of dangling there. So I felt with one of them, you can maybe add some candy to. Has this cute little lid that comes with it. And then you can also put some arrangements in the other one. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.